do you know any hypotenuses that you could think of in general? Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, the Woody uh, Show. A Friday morning. Yes. A dumbass contest for you to win a prize here on The Woody Show today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the D-U-I-Q. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Snores. Yes. Snores. Oh, yeah. yeah. 877-44 Woody is the number. It's 877-44 oh, yeah. Woody. That's feel good, baby. Mm. All right, uh, Seabass, go ahead and explain the way the game works to everybody, please. I hit the streets to find someone drunk, and then I asked that drunk person seemingly easy questions, but, oh, did you forget that they were drunk? Well, that's the I game. have not. <laughs> yeah. oh, really? So you got to guess whether this drunk person knows the answer to these easy questions. If you can guess whether they know two times out of three, you win. All right, so Morgan's joining us for the uh, for the guessing. Oh, because that's oh. necessary. Uh, let's go to, let's see, Josh here on line number two. Good morning, Josh. How Josh. are you? Good morning. Good morning. All right. So yeah, fine. How about yourself? we're doing great. Just trying to get through this morning as quick as we can. All right. So, uh, Josh, we're going to get to know the drunk a little bit better before we get to the actual questions that will count toward you winning a prize or not. And uh, who do we have here, Seabass? This is Christian, and as you're about to hear, Christian is a mega bro, and he checks all the bro boxes, so we will explain those. All right. How are you celebrating tonight, Christian? By drinking. (laughs) What have you had to drink tonight, Christian? Some Jack and Coke. Good old America, that's why. I would say, yeah, it's Tennessee, it's Atlanta, it's the South, it's, 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 it's just America, right? That's right. Now, do you drink regular Coke or Diet Coke? Regular Coke. Because you're not a girl, right? <laughs> Hell no, brother. <laughs> uh, how, are the, how are the ladies treating you tonight? <laughs> that should answer for you. <laughs> uh, that's a, is that a laugh of pleasure in all the numbers you've gotten? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, bro. Oh, yeah. Yep. I didn't realize, yes, a Jack and a Coke is a really American drink. It's, and, and, yeah. yeah. Can't you get it in, like, in a canned version now? Yeah, you can. Like a pre- By the way, those are really good. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, they, they, have a, they have a diet one, too. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. They're not cheap. You know, you're going to save a lot of money just by, you know, having well, the you ability. you pay for convenience, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah. If you just want something yeah. in a can, take, grab and go. They Ready are, to go. They are sure. super tasty. I think I saw them at Target. Oh, yeah. they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, DYQ, Josh, that is Christian. Are you ready for question number one? Yes, sir. All right, here we go, DYQ. Charles Darwin wrote The Origin of What? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> do you know this one, Greg? Uh, I think I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm not counter. sure. I'm Morgan, counter. do you know this one? I think I do again. <laughs> but oh, God, that's embarrassing. I don't want to ruin it. Well, you said you don't know it. I don't. No, no, no but, but it's it, embarrassing it, if we all don't know it. Oh, I, I'm, I'm like 75% sure I know. Yeah, hmm. I'm like all right. 50%. I'm going to say uh, Christian does not. I will say that uh, Menace does not. All right. I sweep it for no. Me too. Okay. First, first question out. I'm sweeping it. Uh, I'm sweeping it for no. What do you think, Morgan? Yep, sweep no. Yeah. Sweep no, Greg. Okay. Yeah, no sweep. Uh, what do you think about Christian? You guys, do you think he's gonna get it? No, I don't. No, no. nah, no. All, All right. right. Uh, what do you think, Josh? Yes or no? no question sir. number one. No, sir. No, sir. All right. Question number one. DUIQ. Charles Darwin wrote the origin of what? Menace. Life and death. <laughs> maybe. Life and death. <laughs> Yeah. All right, uh, Sammy. Evolution. Evolution. So close. Uh, oh. Morgan. Is it Darwinism? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, a ballsy yeah. move for your first book to be like the yeah. origin <laughs> of me. Uh, yeah, me. Yeah. Cool. How cool am I? I'm assuming <laughs> that's not the answer, C. Bass. I don't know what it is. Why was What's Morgan the... laughing at my answer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, how it's, dare it's you? Friday. Yeah. You had the worst answer. They all had pretty educated guesses. Morgan's was the worst, though. <laughs> Sammy's yeah. was good, though. Yeah, it's the origin of, of it's either man or species. Species, Greg. Yes. Species. Yes, species. Oh, well, all right. Well, now I know. Twenty-five percent chance. I, don't I put know. life. <laughs> I put life. <laughs> I put life. Like I said, you guys, those weren't terrible guesses. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 you were in yeah. the wheelhouse. All right. Well, uh, Josh said that uh, Christian here will not get it right, and if that is the case, he will be on the board with his first point here in this round of the DUIQ. Charles Darwin wrote the origin of what? Gravity. What do you think is the origin of gravity? When I pull out my dick, fall to the ground. <laughs> Say Isaac Newton saw an apple fall from a tree. No, he, he just opened his pants and this giant thing fell out, right? That's right, that's right. How big is it, by the way? For the ladies to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't ask because I'm gay or nothing, trust me. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Heterosexual. Yeah. yeah. All right. Josh, you're in good shape. You're on the board, my friend. 
one point. <laughs> did I tell you he was a bro? <laughs> you did. Yep. You did. You and let now us know. we know the real story of Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah. 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 How does gravity work? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Zip. Yeah. Flop. Flop. All right, Josh, here we go. Uh, question number two for the DUIQ. Oslo is the capital of what country? Oslo is the capital of what country? Hmm. Christian, no. Hmm. Sammy. I'm trying to. Well, I don't want to give has, away with Manus's travels. Sammy has been watching a lot of Olympics. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. It's a perfect time for this question. Man, I don't know. What do you think, Greg? I'll kind of um, I kind follow your lead I, here. I'm, I'm kind of thinking yes to Menace, but um, one thing we never really uh, with Sammy is: do we know how much she's ever traveled? Like, in her did she ever do study abroad? I know or? she's traveled. Yeah, I don't know. She told some story Where about been. Ireland. Oh yeah, because she like she kissed the Blarney Stone or whatever it was, right? Oh yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ugh. I think I might sweep no again. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of where I'm leading. What do you think, Morgan? Yeah. I think Menace is going to get it, but Sammy yeah. and Christian, no. No? Okay. Uh, I will say no for Christian. <laughs> sweep it. Mm. All right. No no again. All, All right. three no. What do you think, Menace, Sammy? What about Christian? Will he get it? No. No. No? Uh, Josh? No, bro. No, bro. Bra. All right. Question number two, D-U-I-Q. Oslo is the capital of what country? Sammy. Germany? Germany. Menace. Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> no. well, Sammy, feel better that you were your guess was way better than Menace. <laughs> Norway. Like Norway. The, Norway. Okay. Norway. Oh. Doesn't oh, it ring a bell well, now? Oregon, Norway. Well, no. Yeah, I didn't know it either. <laughs> really? No, uh, I thought Oslo, New Mexico, and then I was like Mexico. But I originally wrote down Amsterdam for some reason. Which, that's a better guess. So what are you yeah. confusing in New Mexico? Huh? Roswell? Is it kind of the yeah, same cadence? Yeah. No, There's I thought there was an Oslo, Oslo New Mexico. Mexico. Oswell. That would be new. No, no, no Oslo, New Mexico. Oh, I thought there was a little no. town called Oslo, New Mexico. <laughs> nor, nor it sounds it like a it would be there. So then I was like, okay, well, it's not in this country, so maybe it's Mexico. Maybe. What yeah, is maybe. the capital of Mexico, Menace? Of Mexico? Uh, that'd it's be, not Oslo. Oh, that would be uh, <laughs> uh, GTO. What? GTO. GTO. He's, he's trying to be cool. What is that? Uh, Guadalajara. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's just kidding. So what is it? Mexico City. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mexico City. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I screwed us up there. Just kidding. <laughs> My bad. Oh, right. wow. Okay. Okay, wow. <laughs> Josh says no. How is she chiming in and she has like the worst answers? Hey, I, I didn't turn my mic on. Uh, <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll talk into I support, it. I support Menace on this. It's, it's like, not like uh, Morgan is some brainiac over yeah. here. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not sure. making fun of everybody else. I don't claim to be. I, right. I'm saying, but like, uh, it makes you know, no sense that. Okay. But like in these situations, like she's punched down on enough. If she wants to punch down in a situation, yeah. that's fine. Pile on. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly. It's kind of what we do. Even though it doesn't make sense. Hey, I thought you were going to get that one right, Menace. Oh, no, yeah. Actually, yeah. She was the one that had some faith in you. That's true. I do appreciate that. You do owe her an apology. Yeah. Question number two for the DUIQ. Now, if Christian doesn't get it right, Josh is going to be our winner. Oslo is the capital of what country? Italy. Italy. I'll take, I'll take Italy. Okay. What do you know or like about Italy? The boot. No, uh, 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 it's uh, the, the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Totally. The Eiffel Tower <laughs> in Italy. The Eiffel Tower. All right, well, uh, hey, Josh, congratulations. You're a winner on the DUIQ. <laughs> well done, Josh. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah, noise is right. Noise. It's pretty nice cool stuff. How they have the uh, the volleyball outside the Eiffel Tower. That's a cool look. Yeah, yeah. It's a visually Not in Italy, stunning. But it's yeah. a cool yeah. look. Right. All right. Well, uh, Josh, congratulations. Thank you so much for listening to the Woody Show. Enjoy your weekend and uh, hang on so we can get your information. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. All right, bye. See you, Josh. Bye. 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 All right. So uh, he didn't need question number three, but we still have it here. Question number three, D-U-I-Q. A hypotenuse is a part of what? Uh, let's sweep no again. I, I maybe was quick on that. I'll, you wanna, I'll, I'll you burn out it again? nice and slow. A yeah. hypotenuse is a part of what? Nice and slow there for you. A hypotenuse is a part of what? All right, I'm going to say no for Christian. And be specific on this, please. Please. <laughs> All right, no I'm for co- Sammy. I'm confident in my no. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so yeah, no, uh, no for Sammy, no for Matt. Sweep All it right. again. Oh, bet. Is it. this an O for sweep we're going for here? I Maybe. know. Yeah. Well, you were you were saying last week that it was too easy. Well, they you had said a, you they were going to step correct, up. You were going to step up the questions. Yeah, yeah. real tough, huh? Uh, they had a correct sweep last week, so yeah. yeah. All right, gone to Lex. Uh, Greg, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to. S- would Morgan? Uh, 
I'm sweeping no again. Yeah. Sweeping no. Yeah. Morgan? Well, Minnis is just so smart. So I think he's going to get it. Okay. Sammy and Christian, no. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. Jeez. Yeah. Well, yeah. I right, thought you guys. Go first. Do you guys think that uh, oh, Christian will get it? Huh? No. Do you guys think Christian will get it? No? No, no, no. no okay. No. All right. Let's, uh, let's see how we do. Question number three. A hypotenuse is a part of what? Sammy. It's part of a hypothesis? A hypothesis. Okay, okay good guess, mm-hmm. good guess. All right. Menace? An organ from a hippo? A what? <laughs> An organ from a hippo? An organ from a hippo. Or do you yeah. mean organ? An organ. Organ. So like from oh, a hippo. Okay. Like a body part. Like yeah. A, yeah. Like, oh. their, like their skin or something. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. A hippopotamus. It's, 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 it's the noose of the, the hippo. The yeah. Oh, wait, now we got to go to Morgan. I literally wrote down hippopotamus, too. Hippopotamus. <laughs> I had no so, clue. Greg, like, I can't even pretend this is high school level. I know. Like, if you've, even if you've seen The Wizard of Oz, they even reference it. It's part of a triangle. Oh. It's this is the, like, oh. like, this the, is like okay. fourth grade, third grade, maybe. Right. Okay. Oh. But when in adult life would you need to whip that out? Well, you don't have to whip it out anywhere, but you mm-hmm. just kind of... Have it implanted in your brain. Well, I don't use the word adjective very often, yeah. but I know what one is. <laughs> yeah. So when I, I was see, exposed to it many times. When I, I see a triangle, yeah. I go, oh, look at that hippopotamus. Yeah, look at the hippopotamus. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> what part of the triangle is it? Like, I know, like, acute and obtuse angles right. from triangles. So hypotenuse what, is huh? the longest, like, especially it's, in a right triangle. It'd be yeah. the longest. But a triangle oh. would not have an obtuse angle. And it would be the opposite well, of the you know right angle. Yeah. So if you have a right triangle, it's the longest part because it's connecting the two parts on the right triangle. Oh, the right angle, I should say. But it's like one of those math. Like I don't use the word dividend or divisor very often, but it's, it was implanted at such a young right. age. Yeah, but I'm not in drafting class. Like I pi is three point one four. I never Duh. use pi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. When's the last time you calculated the area of a circle, Greg? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Eighth grade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, question number three. D U I Q. Let's see how Christian did. A hypotenuse is a part of what? A qu- uh, like a theory. Do you know any hypotenuses that you could think of in general? Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, uh, that's a good hypotenuse. That's a good hypotenuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, this could be like your. Uh, uh-huh. This this could be like a soulmate for Sammy. Yeah, that was yeah, close to Sammy. Yeah, very similar answers. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> this is the type of dude that Sammy would like to hang out with. Like he's a little. Is it? He's a little fat for you, but just from like a lifestyle, he's your he's your type. Yeah, oh, kind of wearing a cowboy hat. Or? That's your boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Does he have boots on? He's a, yeah, he's, a, he's a guy who he drinks Jack Daniels, go to Mor- goes to Morgan Wallen shows, uh-huh. doesn't think about stuff too hard. <laughs> 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 also good, yeah. 818 texting over. It's also part of a hoose. A high pot news. Oh, hoose. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bigger the better. If my client needs a big hoose, this is perfect. A hoose? The hoose. The hoose? The hoose? The hoose. This. Yeah, the house. Yeah, it's high the, pot hi- news. the highest Duh. part yeah. of the hoose. Because they uh, started now teaching Common Core. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. So you, favorite. You can't even teach... What is that? Your kids, how you learned how to do basic stuff, multiplication, division, things like that. Now mm-hmm. it's Common Core. Mm-hmm. And now the alphabet song that we all grew up with and have memorized forever. Forever. Have, I has, still use it in my head. Has been updated. How? They're not teaching it the same. The new version has new pauses after different letters. So no longer says the word and... And instead of ending with, now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me, uh-huh. there's a different ending to it. Really? Oh. Yeah, here's a teacher to explain why and to sing it for us. Y'all, it's true. I'm a teacher and I don't teach the alphabet the way I grew up singing it. And this is one of the reasons, because kids hear element of B and they don't say the individual letter names. Some even think that this is one letter. Another reason is because at the end of the traditional alphabet song, we sing Y and Z, and some kids think that Y and is a letter or and Z is a letter. So instead we sing it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. That's weak. Uh, Even I, mean, I, I get knew it. how to uh, say my ABCs, you know what I'm saying? Eventually. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying I, yeah. I get the I argument. Get makes sense. Yeah, but were you ever confused as a kid by that? I was slightly, as a kid, elemento. Yeah. Like, elemento. Yep. That was always tough. Elemento P. 
Like because it's not like L M N O the way that you need to learn it. It's just Elemento. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good brand name. But Elemento. That's true. New Elemento water. But I never thought it was Y and or Anzi. Right. But when little kids are learning it and you're trying to, I know with the kids uh, yeah. in my house, like you were going through it, like Y and Z. Z. So I get what they're doing. What? But at the same time, I, I mean, if you could still thank God I don't need that. Thank God I don't need diapers anymore. <laughs> thank God. You know, getting out of the diaper world, getting out of the uh, stupid alphabet song world. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> yeah. How to say. Know.